Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I'm trying to be festive. So I hope everyone is doing okay. So tonight I am making some easy French onion soup, meatloaf, bread, cake, and tea. Following the meal of the Egyptian pharaohs who would take with them duck, bread, cake, and wine. So I am making meatloaf, bread, soup, cake, tea, and grape juice. So, okay, there's been some creepy news. And so what I want to do is come up with some cheap food that's fairly decent. So I need to toast some bread make some onion soup so okay so cheap onion soup I have two cups of water and uh, one bouillon cube this is going to make a nice portion I put some dry onions but you could saute some onions in butter if you want fresh I put some garlic powder and I put some parsley. I thought that would be good. So now I want to add some Worcestershire sauce to taste. Uh, the onions would be to taste too. So let's see, how much do I want? Um, maybe about a tablespoon would be good. About or two cups, I think that much would be good. And then I want to put a little pat of butter or margarine. I just happen to have butter because I um, I made butter out of my heavy cream. So you can see so far, this is pretty cheap. So I want to melt my butter in there. Oh, this is coming along. Okay, so now let's see. I have a beef bouillon cube and some butter, two cups of water, Worcestershire sauce, dry onion, salt, and pepper. I don't have any salt and pepper yet, but I will. Okay, oh, my, my toast is looking good. All right, here it is. So uh, I need one more thing. I need some uh, provolone cheese, but I bought this vegan uh, vegan cheese. This is really good. I bought it for 90 cents this week, so I'm just going to have this. And my um, my stove is on broil. I want to make this a little bit hotter to melt my butter. Now, the next thing I made was a meatloaf out of one half pound um, hamburger. And here it is. For my journey to the this life, to avoid the journey to the next life, like by any creepy news. So I have... Um, Hamburger, onion, dry onion, breadcrumbs. Okay, for the breadcrumbs for a little batch like this, I ground up my croutons and put those in. A half an egg, so I just, okay, so my, um, my soup is boiling. So now I just wanna put my bread in my soup. And I want to put one piece of cheese. I think I'm going to start um, trying to find the, the um, cheese uh, by the slice. And then I just want to slip this in the oven to melt the cheese. All right, so there we have it. So the thing about this is you're getting plenty of food, no wasting, I'll eat all these little bits as well. And then I have, today I got this really nice bread for $2, I got six of these wheat rolls, uh, my other ones are almost gone. So 
uh, to go with my meatloaf. So meat, bread, and then I have butter. And this is going to give you a really nice sandwich, so you're not going to be starving. So I'll put a little butter. Uh, I'll cut this in half. So uh, when we hear this creepy news, we're going to say to ourselves, oh, Oh, wonderful. More creepy news. All right, we put up with two years of this stuff. And not to say that it wasn't illegitimate. So here's what I have so far. That'll do. And so what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut a little bit off. I mean, you can make any kind of meatloaf. Uh, I like to uh, keep it simple myself. And uh, this is enough for probably two meals, unless I'm really, really hungry. But since I have the soup, that's unlikely. You could put ketchup on here. Okay, so let me give you one more shot. Ooh, my soup is looking good. All right, so here we have it. So then I'm just gonna pour this into a bowl. So you see how just by uh, maybe stockpiling some bullion cubes, ow, you're gonna be able to survive. Okay, and so there, that's dinner. Yummy. All right, so now let's have some tea. Okay, so let's go back over here. We have meatloaf, bread, soup, cake. Yes. Dollar Tree. The cake really rounds this meal out. And I'm going to eat this just one, and that's going to be overeating because I have plenty of food here. Uh, I'm And here we go. I might eat both of them. I'll probably eat both of them, okay? Now we meet. Now, I will be stockpiling up some juice. Here is the juice. I'd say this is about enough for one week. And what I did is I put it in the freezer to get it nice and cold. And then in my freezer, I had uh, frozen blackberries and frozen blueberries. So I will just slip a few of those in my, that is really good, in my uh, grape juice. So this sweet beverage is going to keep me from uh, grabbing... Uh, fattening snacks at night. Not completely. Oh, this is perfect. It's really, really frozen. It's like, uh, it could be wine if you didn't have a drinking problem. So, um, today I was at Dollar Tree and it was still cleaned out. So I'll be checking back every few days and I'll buy the some more grape juice. They had um, apple juice and cranberry juice. So right now what is really important is positivity. Not getting wrapped up in the creepy news. So like what creepy news? Well, let's see. Creepy news one. Uh, one of the evangelist people uh, has announced a de demonic portal has opened above the White House since the Bidens have occupied it. There is a swirling black cloud above the, the White House. This is good. We've got to make this. And it is a portal... Okay, I've mentioned many times the judgments are for the bad people, not for the good people. The doers of evil are the ones who can expect the judgments. 
Uh, okay, now about black or dark energy. I have heard of dark energy and it is associated with fear. But I, I don't know. I mean, you have to consider the source. Okay, so... So a clergy type person has said there's demonic portals opening up and has found somewhere in the Bible. So what we're going to say to ourselves is, okay, I'm in California. That's in the White House. So, you know, no sense getting, no sense, you know, getting hysterical. Remember um, when the COVID started? Brace yourself. That was on YouTube. I braced myself already. I got a, I got the booster, the COVID booster, and I wear my mask. I'm not going to be stupid here. All right, now, Pope has come up with some creepy news. Almonds, greater destruction, desolation coming to mankind. Okay, he's over in Rome or Italy. We're over here in the U.S., so I would say the thing to do is say, okay, well, yeah, if you were over there by the war, it's not a good situation, and there's absolutely nothing your common citizen can do about it. So, okay, so, omens. Well, there's been reports that uh, the, the Russians are arresting until after the first of the year, but... Their own citizens say that. All right, so what can we do? Well, we do this every day on this channel. One, stockpile food. If you don't have any money, go to the food pantry, the food bank, or get EBT. Just do it. And pack your house full of food. Hoard money. Uh, that's a really important one during recessions. And reduce expenses. So, let me hear these creepy, creepy reports, creepy news. We go straight to stockpile food, hoard money, and reduce expenses. Until they stop with the creepy news, that's when we stop. I, I don't think it's ever a good idea to uh, stop stockpiling food. You never know what's going to happen. You could get sick, you could lose your job, you could be in an accident. Uh, somebody, you know, family member uh, might need food. Um, or you could eat your stockpile down, which would enable you to hoard money and reduce expenses. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and you will like this, and it's cheap as dirt. And God bless you all.